So today we're pouring the concrete to the first foundation base here at Block Inner Wind Farm. Um, we're pouring about 600 cubic metres of concrete, uh, starting around about 6 this morning, hopefully finished by 7pm tonight. We've done a lot of existing track widenings, obviously with it being an existing forest, upgrades of tracks, new, new tracks, a lot of new crate hard standings. I think we're currently working on about 21 out of 27. We've been digging the excavations for these turbine bases here. Uh, we've got 10 blinded ready for steel. Um, we've tied a total of six to, up to now, to, up to today. And this is our first concrete pour today. So we've got another 26 of these after this one's finished. Because it's, it's such an intense procedure, we, we've got two pumps on today. Um, we've got four mixers on today. The backup plant here is, is here as well, just in case we need it. The, the main plant here behind us, it can, it can reach upwards of 80 cubic meters of an hour. Um, so we've just got to make sure we've got enough uh, trucks, enough workers out on, on the base as well that can handle that amount of concrete. So the benefits of the on-site batching band is basically it cuts, it cuts down on the amount of trucks of concrete being delivered to site. Uh, currently the only deliveries we have to have to site are the aggregates for the concrete and the, the cement and the ground granulated blast burner slag. So, you know, for something of this size, there's 600 cubic metres here. If, if, the, if we were getting that delivered in six cube trucks, that would be 100 trucks coming on these local roads. So having this on site makes it easier for us. It also helps with production because we can, it's our concrete, we can control it, monitor how it, how it develops. Um, we've carried out a lo lots of trials on site. You know, our blinding concrete, we've been using the mix for this base to make sure that the concrete is spot on before we, before we put it in the ground, basically. Currently we're working on the substation as well, um, the control building. Um, it's a 132, 33 kVA uh, substation, I believe. Um, we're building one which will house all the, all the cables from these turbines, will go back to that substation. It will then join the national grid and then be distributed around the UK. It's due to finish completely by October next uh, 2019. Um, currently, we're, you know, we're on track now. Uh, our heavy civils should be finished uh, by March. Concrete should be finished by Oct uh, October this year. Uh, and then we'll progress with the cabling and the reinstatements of the, the tracks and the crane pads, getting the, getting the place ready for the turbine suppliers, really, who are due in on January. We've registered with the Considerate Constructors, um, which is a scheme that helps us value workforce, respect the community, uh, care about our appearance, among other things. Um, we've had some school visits on site um, up to now. I think we've had uh, three schools on site. We've also had the Denby Rotary Club on site. I've also this morning had uh, a gang of work experience on site for Jones Brothers. So I've been w around with them today explaining what's going on here today. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of um, community involvement. I've been, I've been personally around to a lot of these houses, knocking on doors, making sure that they, they know who I am rather than just them on the hill in, in the forest, we, we like to, you know, put a face to a name.